Hi there, it's me, Alan from Sesame Street, and you're listening to Good Night World, a sleepcast where your friends at Sesame Street and Headspace Studios help you get ready for bed. Good night, world. 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 Tonight's episode is... Elmo's Choo-Choo. Hi, it's me, Alan, from Sesame Street. And I'm so glad you're here. I was just walking over to visit with Elmo, and it's nice to have you along. Elmo's working on a craft project here in the play yard. He's been busy for quite a while now. Oh, hey, Elmo. Alan, hi. Oh, Alan, you're just in time. Just in time for what, Elmo? A ride on Elmo's choo-choo train, of course. Of course. What else? A ride on Elmo's, wait, Elmo's train? Yes, Elmo's choo-choo train. Oh, I see. You made a choo-choo train out of that empty box you asked me for from the store. Oh, that's pretty special, Elmo. Uh-huh. Oh, when Elmo asked you for the box, Elmo said it was going to be a surprise, so... Ta-da! <laughs> oh, that is a surprise. I sure wasn't expecting a train. And you did a really good job making that box look like one. Oh, thank you, Alan. Oh, Elmo worked really hard on it today. Oh, first, Elmo used markers to draw a big window in front of the box. Next, Elmo glued paper plates onto the sides for wheels. Elmo wanted wheels for his choo-choo train because a real train has big metal wheels. Oh, Elmo saw that in one of his storybooks. Ah, good thinking. And now, Elmo's choo-choo train is ready for a ride. So, last of all, Elmo made some railroad tracks, Alan. Oh, of course, because choo-choo trains ride on tracks, not on roads like cars do. What a great idea, Elmo. I see you use chalk to draw tracks here in the play yard. Uh-huh. Oh, now Elmo will just move his choo-choo train oh, over the top of oh, the tracks and the... Uh, Oh, sure, Elmo. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> that box is pretty big. I'll give you a hand. Put it right there. On top of the tracks, Alan. Yes, right there. Pretend tracks for Elmo's pretend choo-choo train. It looks like you really planned this out, Elmo. I'm impressed. What gave you the idea to make a pretend train? Well, you're never going to believe it, Alan. But tomorrow, Elmo's going to ride a real choo-choo train. You are? That's pretty amazing. Why are you taking a train? Oh, we're visiting Elmo's granny and grandpa monster. They live far away. So Elmo's mommy and daddy, oh, and Elmo too, <laughs> need to ride a train to get there. That's exciting. Well, I think you did a super job of making a pretend one, Elmo. So now what? to make a train whistle sound, Alan. Uh, <laughs> oh, Elmo hasn't learned the whistle yet. <laughs> oh, but a train has a special kind of whistle. You can make that kind. It sounds like this. <laughs> oh, Elmo can do that. Oh, listen, Alan. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> exactly. You make a great train whistle sound, Elmo. Next... Let's imagine that your choo-choo train is chugging off down the tracks. So climb into your pretend choo-choo, Elmo. <laughs> okay, Elmo will chug-a-chug. Chug-a-chug-a, chug-a-chug-a. Choo-choo! That <laughs> <laughs> oh, was fun. But Elmo wishes his tomorrow train ride was happening now, Alan. Well, there is a way you can ride it now, Elmo. You can imagine you're riding on your choo-choo train. Oh. Imagining means that Elmo can ride his pretend choo-choo anytime he wants. And Elmo can be the engineer, or the conductor, or the passenger? You can pretend to be anything you like. <laughs> Maybe Elmo will be all of them. <laughs> that sounds like fun. 
All aboard! Elmo's train is leaving the station. Chugga, 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 chugga. Choo-choo. Elmo, we can get ready for imagining by slowing down, by taking a slow belly breath together. Okay, Alan. Elmo can do that. Good. So let's breathe slowly in through our noses. Then slowly breathe out through our mouths. And now, before we imagine our choo-choo train ride, let's think about something we might see outside the window on our imaginary ride. Like what, Alan? Like some clouds. Clouds that are colored by the light of the setting sun. So many colors of the rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, then blue, and even purple as nighttime arrives. Wow, so many colors! Yes, so let's close our eyes, and together, let's imagine that we're looking out an imaginary choo-choo train window. Mm -hmm. We see a big, soft, fluffy white cloud sailing slowly across the sky. Hi, big, soft, fluffy white cloud. Now the sun is setting far away behind the clouds. It is moving down, down, down through the sky. The light turns the cloud one color, then another, then another. And another. We're going to say the names of the colors, two at a time. You say them after me, okay? Sure. Okay, Alan. Slowly, the cloud turns color from fluffy white to rosy red. White. White. Red. Red. The big, soft, fluffy cloud is changing color again. Slowly, it turns golden yellow. Then slowly, it turns color again to bright orange. Yellow. Yellow. Orange. Orange. The big, soft, fluffy cloud is changing color again. The sun has set and nighttime is coming. The sky is growing darker and darker now. Slowly, the cloud turns blue, then slowly changes color again to purple, a dark purple. Blue. Blue. Purple. Purple. Now the sky outside your imaginary choo-choo train is dark as night, a deep, dark, beautiful black, all speckled with tiny, far-off white stars. Black. Black. White. White. All done saying colors now. So we'll take another slow belly breath. Then slowly breathe out through our mouths. I think we're ready to imagine our train ride. Right, Elmo? Yeah. It sounds like it's time for Engineer Allen to say... All aboard. (laughs) 
Let's imagine we're in the train station on a train with Elmo and his mommy and daddy. We can hear air coming out of the tall smokestack and a woo woo sound of the train's whistle as the train doors slide closed. In the front of the train, the conductor looks out the window. The conductor wears a blue striped shirt and hat. She waves goodbye to the people on the platform as the wheels of the train begin slowly moving on the train tracks. Inside the train car, Elmo is in his seat, snuggling close under his mommy's arm. His daddy sits next to them, reading a book. The train chugs out of the station. Looking out the train windows, Elmo sees green, grassy hills. The wheels go chugga-chugga, and the train starts to move faster. Now, Elmo sees fields and flower gardens, too. Elmo likes hearing the train wheels click-clacking on the tracks. Elmo's mommy snuggles with Elmo as they look through the train window. The train is passing a farm and Elmo sees three horses standing in the grass. Their long tails swish back and forth and their manes move gently in the breeze. As the train keeps moving, a big field comes into view with lots of mooing cows. Elmo even spots some fuzzy sheep resting near a pond. He hears a door open and turns to see the conductor entering the train car. The conductor comes by and takes Elmo's ticket. As the train keeps moving along the track, Elmo sees light sparkling on a long, winding river. He sees the water moving around some rocks that are in the river. In the seat in front of him, there are two children playing I Spy. They speak in soft voices as they play, looking out the window. The chugga-chugga of the train wheels is making Elmo feel sleepy. He leans back in his seat again as a passenger walks down the aisle toward the dining car. Elmo's mommy pulls a book out of her bag. It is filled with colorful pictures of places you can travel to all over the world. Elmo looks at the book with his mommy and points out the pictures he likes. A beach, a mountain, a green forest of super tall trees. His mommy nods and agrees. They are all beautiful places to visit. But outside the window are beautiful places too. Elmo turns back to the window to look out. He sees green trees now, 
and trees with very long leaves. Elmo was feeling oh so relaxed. When Elmo looks out the window again, he sees blue sky and puffy clouds. Elmo's daddy smiles. We're going over a bridge, he tells Elmo. Elmo pretends to be the train, chugging over the bridge. He whispers, chugga chugga, choo choo. His mommy and daddy smile. The train keeps moving along, and soon they come to the other side of the bridge. Elmo now sees a field of yellow flowers outside his window. Now the train is moving past a town. Elmo sees all kinds of houses all in a row and gardens full of colorful flowers. He sees the tall red roof of another train station and watches as another train stops to pick up some passengers. But Elmo's train keeps chugging along past the red station. As the train moves, the sun sets lower and lower in the sky. The sky changes colors before the sun lowers behind the hills. Elmo's mommy looks out the window and Elmo looks too. The sky starts turning dark blue now as it turns to nighttime. Elmo is feeling sleepy. He climbs into his mommy's lap. His mommy hugs him so he knows she's there, even when his eyes are closed. Soon, they will reach their destination. And after a good night's sleep, we'll be ready for new adventures tomorrow. <laughs>